Good morning, I'm Corey Duke. I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. The 104th PGA Championship it ended on Sunday with a new two-time winner. 18 holes wasn't enough to crown a champion, so we got a three extra holes for the championship. Justin Thomas, Will Zalatoris. Thomas had one stroke lead, leading into the final hole, so we just needed to stay steady, right? And with that, Thomas takes home the 22 PGA Championship. 2022, 104th, right? His uh, second major victory in his career is first since 2017. And Thomas trailed by seven strokes when the day started, making it the third largest comeback in major championship history. Well, Tulsa's Ironman named a new champion over the weekend. In just over nine hours, Tulsa native Sam Carr won first place just over 10 hours. American Maggie Rush had the fastest women's time. The word ceremony is going to be this morning at Guthrie Green. It starts at 930. And the Oklahoma Blood Institute is counting down the final days to summer every day from now until Friday. Blood donors will be entered for a chance to win a prize package with OBI's summer partners. Those include Science Museum Oklahoma, Frontier City, the Oklahoma City Zoo, and Safari Joe's H2O Water Park. OBI's president says summers are a challenge to get the amount of blood that they need donated because people are vacationing and they're outside their normal routines. All right, let's get over to meteorologist Michael Sager for a look at that forecast. Michael, what's going on? Well, definitely grab the umbrellas as we go through the afternoon as our rain chances will be on the increase. Maybe even a rumble of thunder too mixing in and also those temperatures staying cool. Notice through the afternoon hours, higher chances of any showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder would be to uh, the north and west, but that does include Tulsa. And then we really watch the chances increase north and west overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning. And then everybody gets involved once we get into Tuesday. It won't rain every minute of the day, but we'll have widespread showers and storms around one to three inches of rainfall looking likely perhaps isolated totals uh, exceeding four inches of rain feeling kind of cool and wet here through the middle of the week but we're going to warm it up just in time for Memorial Day weekend.